What up everybody, Wiser Warner here with Tattoo Pro Stencils and today I'm going to show you how to do a koi fish tattoo with your Tattoo Pro Stencils. So uh, come on in. Okay, first thing I do is I lay my stencil down in the center of the area I want to put the tattoo on and I begin spraying in the flat part. You'll notice that some spots are kind of sticking up further. Uh, don't worry about those for now as long as the area you're spraying has uh, is flat then you're good to go and sometimes the air can kind of hold your stencil down now notice I'm kind of shifting the stencil as I need to to go around the arm uh, instead of trying to hold it in place and, and mess with it I'm just kind of like adjusting it how I need to as I go if it slides out of place I just simply line it right back up and hold it right into place going around the entire edge and I'm making sure not to go too dark when I go around the edges too because that could really kind of ruin the effect of the realistic tattoo. Uh, I am however making sure to go as dark as possible on the inner details of the design. Um, notice when I get up here to the top I'll switch and hold it down and I'll let the air from the airbrush kind of do a lot of the work for me in holding the stencil down. And make sure that that has enough. Once I lift it away, I'll be able to see any spots I missed. This is actually looking really good. I'll just add a little bit of slight more shadow around the sides and under the head. And we can start with the waves. All right, so next I'm gonna take the finger wave stencil. Now this is a freestyle type of tool for creating the waves. I'm gonna make sure not to just stamp it I want to turn it and move it to create a randomized pattern. But I'll go ahead and start here. Make sure I get all of it. And when I'm ready to move on to the next one, I'll turn it at least or move it a little bit. That way I can get a more randomized pattern. Now you can also use other sections of it as well, which is really good for creating these waves. Here. And notice I'm trying to make sure not to get any excess spray on top of my design that's already in there. Let's do another little bit by the head over here and down here. Let's twist this around. You know, if you end up with little bits of fuzz, it's not a huge deal. You can always fix those in, in a later step. Uh, just keep note, I'm constantly turning my shape as soon as I let off of it. That way I can create a more randomized design. And there we go. I've got plenty. Next, I'm going to uh, bring my freestyle tool into play here. Uh, this is my favorite one from the freestyle tool set. I'm just going to use the different shapes and edges of this to uh, add to my uh, koi fish. Starting uh, here on the fin, I'm going to line it up with the edge of the fin. Just add a little depth to the body here. And then I'll use the flat edge on the fin and a very light spray to kind of add some ripply texture to the fin. Then I can use this shape to kind of pop the head back a little bit. Any of these shapes I'm just kind of like lining up however I need to in order to add that proper depth. Okay, here on the lip. Actually I need a bit more of a curve so we'll go with that one. And on the side of the head here I'm going to line that up right down the middle of the head and you know, just push that part of the head back a little bit further. There's also that fin there. Next I'm going to move up to this fin set it back a little bit and also I'm going to flip this around and line it up with the, the fin at the top and then add a little bit more shadowing to the body. This fin as well I've got to separate and up here at the tail just a little bit so that I can use the curved edges of my freestyle tool here to create folds in the fin. Uh, some of these real sharp curves you can kind of 
Just move the tool around any way you need. Uh, that's looking pretty good, and I'll add a little bit more depth there. And I'm going to line this up along the top edge of the fin and get a little bit more. You want to be really careful not to get too dark because then you can really lose some of your details. I can then take my freestyle tool and line it up with the waves so that I can add some texture and depth to the waves here. Really important uh, to not neglect the waves. I mean, really, any of these you can just kind of like slap on and not worry about the shadowing of the depth, but doing this is really, really just going to set it off and make your tattoo look even more and more realistic. Let's see here. Um, some texture of the waves. A little bit of separation. That's looking really good. Um, now, here where I got really dark, I'm going to actually uh, do some highlights on the scales using the swab technique. So basically what I have here is a cosmetic swab and some 99% rubbing alcohol. I will dip my swab in the alcohol, both sides. And making sure not to get too much in there, too much excess. So I can basically use this swab to wipe away a little bit of ink creating a highlight on some of these scales. It's really gonna give it a a really cool effect. It's going to make it look like the scales actually have depth. Use the fat side for, for bigger areas and use the pointy side for the tinier areas. Also like in here in the fins, you want to like wipe away and get some depth going on here. If you have to get a new swab, if one gets too dirty and it starts if one gets too dirty and it starts to not take away the alcohol, just get a new one. Uh, also here, I'm going to do this. Do a little edge going on here. Do this fin. I'm going to pop out a little bit more. And I can put a little spot in the eye too. A little shine. And this is all basically just adding a little bit more depth by bringing out the highlights of your piece. Up here in the tail definitely needs some love. And you can feel free to you know, add some highlights to your waves as well. That's really going to pop stuff out. And see over here where it got fuzzy on the waves, no biggie, is where we can use our swap to kind of Pop those back out a little bit. And there you have it. Super quick, super easy koi fish tattoo using Tattoo Pro stencils. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on all the other awesome tutorials we have. Thanks for watching. Have fun with your airbrushes and hit me up if you have any questions. Peace.